You know, dem man. Dem man. Not very street, is he? Man, dem bloke, skeezers. You know the male of the species. Um, anyway, we went back to their place. Ah, oh, see what you're saying, sis. Roll with it. Go on then, tell him. Well, uh, you see, well, <laughs> she's only gonna got herself up the stuff, isn't she? So what are your partner's feelings about this? <laughs> Partner, she don't even know his name. I'll let her know what he looks like. Nameless and faceless father. But it seems pretty grim when you put it like that. I'm so ashamed. Oh, Vicky, don't be ashamed. You know, we all, we all make mistakes. I mean, it's hard response in that count. What does your mum think about this? My mum? I can't tell my mum, she'll go mad. You don't even want to know what her mum would say. I think, nah, we think she should get rid of it, innit, Becky? Mm, it's probably for the best, eh, Vix? But it's your choice. What do you think she should do, April? Okay, right. Um, I mean, what do you feel you want to do? I mean, what do you want to do, Vicky? Well, I thought you'd tell me what to do. Well, I can't tell you what to do, but... I can tell you what not to do. What's that? Just don't make any snap or rash decisions that you'll end up regretting down the line. She's already done that, ain't she? She's pregnant. This is the first time you've got drunk and lost control. <laughs> We're 17, not 7, love. We're at eight every weekend. Maybe we should slow it down a bit. Yeah. Maybe we should cut it down a bit, but I'm afraid that if I don't drink, then my friends won't like me. <laughs> What's all this about cutting down? Maybe we could cut down a little bit. Actually, um, you might want to slow down a lot. Um, but at least you're making uh, sense of the situation. I mean, you're making some positive decisions. I mean, I can lead you in the right direction for some helplines. But, Vicky, you're going to have to deal with the consequences, you know. It's very important that you learn from this. It's not the pregnancy we're worried about. What if she's got the clap? The clap? Cut la media. Oh, right, okay, I see. Um, well, of course, you've left yourself open to contracting all sorts of sexual diseases. <laughs> Sleeping with a stranger who could have slept with a countless amount of other people unprotected for you, then um, that is an easy way of contracting with an STI or an STD. So um, I will write down information about the brook so you can get checked up. <coughs> write the website down here for you. Um, also, actually, if you, if you don't if you don't fancy going in, then um, just go on this website, and that is a fast and easy way of getting information. Thanks, Paul. It's a great help. We thought you were just going to tell her to get rid of it and be done with it. Karina, you can't say that. Let her go to the brook, talk to someone, see what she decides. I'm always here if you need to talk. Okay. Well, thanks, Paul. I'll look into some further advice, and thanks again. So, you're still going out for a drink tonight then, gals?